turn, she'll be competing. And Nancy Kerrigan will compete in the last group of them. Here, and she is on Olympic ice. The United States national champion, Tanya Harding. This the beginning of a lengthy warm-up period and a very important period for her getting ready to uh, perform. She's been having a lot of trouble with the technical program since she arrived. Not one clean run through. Look here at double axle, an easy jump for her. She has a triple. She's not doing it here tonight. That double axle is one of the eight required elements in the technical program for Lady Scott. Why don't you take us through the list? Well, there are three spins of various types, uh, two footwork sequences, a double jump. This is easy for everybody. A little more challenging is the double axle, which you just saw Tanya do. And the last one is the crucial one. This is the only time you'll see any of these women doing triples in this program. And if you want to compete for medals here, if you want to be in contention, you've got to do a triple Lutz. The triple Lutz is one of the easiest jumps to spot because of the long running edge into the corner and then the vault. Long running edge in the left foot, reach back, vault with the right. It works like a pole vault, stopping your momentum for a millisecond, throwing me into the air for the rotation and the landing. The triple Lutz is the second most difficult jump because of this takeoff. Timing is crucial. Again, the long running edge into the corner, reach back with the right foot. Now it's easy to see this in slow motion, but let's take a look at it in real speed. It is over that quick. The triple lutz, the jump that will make the difference in the ladies program tonight. And Tanya Harding has just started warming up the triple lutz. Warm-up is so important to the confidence you take into your program. She'll reach back with the right foot. She hangs on to that not a great landing. She has to do a double toe loop on the landing of that triple Lutz, and she's going to have to hit it a lot cleaner than that in order to assure herself a solid combination. Tanya Harding is getting ready to skate. Earlier this evening, Katarina Vitt skated and then chatted with Tracy Wilson. Katarina, when you landed your double axle, I was sitting up in the stands. I could hear you yell. Was that um, out of relief? I was really happy because the combination went so well in the double axle, especially after this mistake at the Europeans. It's always in the back of your mind, you know, that I did a mistake there. So I was just really happy after the double axle. What was it like having your parents in the audience tonight? It was wonderful. Yesterday my parents arrived and my dad was standing here on the ice ring and he smiled so much and I felt, God, I was so happy that they're here and I felt like this is the first time really they're seeing a competition far away, especially the Olympics. So I was very glad they're here and very proud and I'm so proud that I skated well for them especially. Looking ahead to the free skate, I understand you have something special planned for the long program. Well, my long program is the song which Pete Seeger wrote, Where Have All the Flowers Gone? And I'm remembering here, Sarajevo in 84, where I did my first Olympics and I have so great memories to the city about the people. And I just wanted to make a statement here. Look, we all want to live in peace and that's why I chose this music. Okay. Thanks, Katarina. Back for the warm up and Tanya Harding with the triple Lutz. Another pass at it? Nope. She looks a little tight on the takeoff. It looks like her upper body, she's trying to pull it in before she gets all the way off the ice. You've got to let the jump happen first. There's this is split-second timing. Everything has to be in perfect order in order for you to be able to hit this jump solid. You're in the air less than one second, and everything happens on the takeoff. If you don't get off the ice well, it's going to take a lot of strength and determination to save the jump. If she gets past the triple Lutz, she should do the rest of the program clean. And being that the Lutz is such a hard combination, she should get some pretty good marks. One final try. 30 seconds left in this warm-up. You do not want to miss your last try. And she doubles it. How unnerving is that? Very unnerving. But Tanya's one that I think can shut off everything around her. She's, you know, a, a big game skater. 
there's a program to accomplish, she's going to give it every chance. I don't think she's going to be totally affected by the warm-up. One more pass, no time left in warm-up. This is the last chance she's going to have at this combination, and she doubles it again. When we return, Natalie Krieg, followed by Tanya Harding. <laughs> 